what's up YouTube my name is Andriana and today I am joined by Julia Julia and if you've seen my last two videos then you've seen her already <laughs> today we're gonna be talking about plant-based diets um, I am currently transitioning into being a vegetarian so I'm like kind of flexitarian right now and and I'm vegan the dreaded V word <laughs> There's so many taboos. It's fine. Yeah. Um, That's why we're here to talk about it. Yeah. It's going to be great. So how long have you been vegan for? Um, I went vegan junior year of high school, which means it's been four, five years. Okay. Let's say four and a half. Let's say four and a half years. Yeah. And why did you decide to make that choice? Okay. Well, Big disclosure. I don't know, I don't say this to like a lot of people like on a normal basis, but for some reason, this is going on the internet, I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> so, okay, so initially I went vegan because I had an eating disorder, which is like not a fun time at all. And at the time I was really looking, it was mostly just because it was an easy way to have an excuse to not eat a lot of calories because a lot of like the, um, I don't know, a lot of media surrounding veganism and even like any alternative diets, to be honest, are really about like, you can lose weight so fast and like you shouldn't be eating bread and like all that kind of shit. <clears throat> and I was like, that sounds perfect. <laughs> so that's originally how it started. It was very terrible. And so um, at that point, I didn't actually define myself as a vegan. I was just like, at least, I guess I was vegetarian and then I just wasn't, and then I just avoided everything else. So I like, I don't think that really counts as like being a true vegan. So whatever, so whatever. So I got through recovery, hooray. <laughs> and then I had to recover as an omnivore because that made sense. Cause basically there's this whole thing with like fear foods basically. And since meat was one of those, they were like, well, we can't really consider you like actually recovered unless you can show us that you're actually like willing to not starve yourself. And I was like, I guess that's fair. <laughs> so after that I was like, okay, mom and dad, like I kind of like, while I wasn't eating meat, I actually did feel like my body felt pretty good. And as I say that now, I realize that was probably like kind of a stupid thing because there were also so many other things that I wasn't eating that, and also like, there's a lot of stuff that happens in your head, like mentally when you're, when you're anorexic. Um, but basically I was like, you know, I want to try this again in like a healthy way. And so they were like, okay, fine. So like, I ended up going through all this stuff with like my therapist and my like the whole like team of like specialists and doctors and all of that. And they were like, okay, fine, you can try this. So eventually, whatever, fast forward. And then I was vegan, hooray. Um, so that's why, I guess, initially. But also because as an environmentalist, I don't know why that shouldn't have been plural. As an environmentalist, <laughs> um, it's me and all my multiple personalities. LOL. Um, it's it makes much more sense for me to not eat meat because it contributes a lot to global warming. Um, yeah, not to be reductive, but like it's not great for the environment, yeah. basically. So that's really the root of it now. Um, especially because I eat so much because food is delicious. <laughs> so it's really not like a calorie thing for me anymore, especially since I have not been eating salads at all recently. <laughs> I've just been too lazy. <laughs> I chose to transition into vegetarianism, mm -hmm. um, mostly because of like the whole like environment and like also <laughs> the treatment of animals. Um, I have tried in the past, um, like I've gone like weeks or like months like just being vegetarian, but then like, I'd give up on it just because like everyone else around me was like eating meat or yeah. like I live in a household where everyone just eats meat and like it just felt weird for me to have to like always cook a separate meal for myself yeah but I think now that I'm older um like I'm more I like to make healthier choices in my <laughs> life and I feel like the food that we eat at home is not totally the best for me mm -hmm. um so I also had like eating issues as well and I felt that like being vegetarian, I was more in control of mm. um, what I was consuming. So there was that. And I also read um, this paper by Peter Singer. Mm. He's this like crazy ethical <laughs> environmentalist guy. Yeah. And like I bought a book from him and I read his paper on um, veganism and mm -hmm. like the case for it. And I started like looking more into it and I 
learned about the way that like on Thanksgiving your turkeys are like how they're reproduced <laughs> so um and I had a really bad nightmare the night after um and then since that day I decided to I just need to stop <laughs> eating meat. Will you remind us exactly what your nightmare was? Yeah, okay. I couldn't believe it also. So basically the way that Thanksgiving turkeys are able to reproduce because um so they put so many like hormones and stuff to make their like chest bigger and um so it's to the point where male turkeys aren't even able to have sex. So in order to create more turkeys they <laughs> basically like in the factory they like jack them off and then they like put their semen in a little syringe and then insert it into the female turkey so Blah. I had a dream that I was one of the people doing that and that just like freaked me out so badly and I was just like oh, I cannot do this anymore <laughs> um, but I do occasionally have a little bit of me um, Usually like on a weekend if I like go to like a family party and there's like no other options then yeah. I'll just like have a little bit because I don't want to starve. Valid. <laughs> yeah. But I do think that like um, reducing my consumption of me is helping in some type of way. Mm -hmm. A really big struggle is um, like I said earlier like my whole family eats meat. Mm -hmm. All of my most of my friends are um, eat meat. So like not being like my ability to not be <laughs> <laughs> disciplined <laughs> is because of the influence of these people and I'm curious as to how um, like being vegan has mm -hmm. um, affected your life and like your relationships with people yeah well I think it's interesting like when I was being like a vegan for real and not being sick like I think it was more difficult because like it, like at the beginning stages because um, I was still kind of going through like the recovery phases of stuff um, which meant that I had to eat like seven times a day because <laughs> you have like you're like three meals and then you're also supposed to have snacks in between mm -hmm. that and then when you're still supposed to be like gaining weight back you have to you don't have to but you're supposed to also like at least the program that I was part of, like you, like they invite you to have like dessert at the end of like dinner as well, so that adds more. Um, so it was just like a lot of food to figure out how to fit into your schedule and like prepare for in like a short amount of time, I guess. Um, and so my parents got annoyed with that because they were like, "Why can't you just eat normal food?" And I was like, "It makes me feel like shit. Like, <laughs> please don't do this to me." So um, and also like I think because I was still in high school. And because food made me really nervous at the time not not as nervous as it had like a year beforehand maybe but like it wasn't something that I really like wanted to engage in I guess so it kind of fell onto my mom to like make sure that there was like a vegan option for me at dinner which like shout out to mom thanks for helping me do that a lot um, I guess honestly I feel like that's the biggest relationship and oh actually okay this is a thing so my family or my dad's side of the family is Italian and that means that we have all of these recipes that have been passed down from my grandma and they're very like traditional foods I guess so you know you have like fish on Christmas and we used to make like pizzelis and then there's like Nana's meatballs and like obviously like sauce and all this kind of stuff which is all really really good right and like lobster sauce especially is like <laughs> the best um, but and you know my dad is very traditional with like everything so especially so there's me who's vegan and then I have a cousin who's vegan and then her two sisters are also like on off vegan sometimes they always like switch around a little bit um, and then I have another cousin who's also on that side who's vegetarian although now I don't think she is anymore so there's always there's recently in the past like three years there's been a, like a lot of like dietary shifts mm -hmm. even like five years or so so my dad would be like okay well you know it's Christmas time so like I'm gonna make all this like traditional food and everyone would be like well we are not gonna eat it <laughs> like it has gluten or it has eggs and all this other stuff and he like gets really frustrated because he's like well this is like how I don't know I think he hasn't said this because he doesn't always like explicitly talk about his emotions but I think it's coming from a place of like this is how we remember Nana like why wouldn't you why can't we do this like once a year it's not a big deal blah 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 but everyone's like we're gonna make it like a different version of this um so that's definitely the biggest 
I don't know. I feel like that's the biggest relationship. I think other things that are probably more common now are like if I'm going out to someone's house or for parties and stuff like that. Um, like if we have a potluck, especially like I say potlucks and stuff, we like. <laughs> like, it, like I, I don't know. Like initially, first of all, like again, because like you're supposed to make a bunch of food, right? So like I don't know. I it was it kind of like falls, or I always felt like it just fell on me to make sure that I had a vegan option for dinner because most people in ISA I don't think are vegetarian or vegan no. honestly so I don't know so that's part of it it's just like I don't know make sure you have a snack with you sometimes I don't know and like I think it just takes a little bit of getting used to of being like not everyone um, like really just knows what to do like and I guess that's like an important thing also is like people might not know what to do but that doesn't mean that they don't care like people will usually be like I'm so sorry I didn't realize that this had eggs in it and I'm like don't worry <laughs> I won't hate on you of yeah. course so that's the thing yeah I tried um, to be vegetarian in the past and failed yeah. um, because I didn't really like have anybody like supporting me along with it. Sure. But um, my brother actually decided to be vegan um, two years ago, mm. um, but he doesn't live at home. So like when I say like people in my family, like I don't really consider him because he doesn't live in the <laughs> house, but he's still my family. He's ex-family. Um, <laughs> but like as I've gotten older, we have a big age gap, um, so we don't talk to each other that much but now mm -hmm. that I'm older we've been getting a little bit closer and like we've been having more discussions mm -hmm. about like how to like stay disciplined like how to like um like when people like make fun of you for like not wanting to like eat yeah. that steak at a barbecue yeah like um how to not feel bad about that so I think like having that um empathy for my brother like really helped me um like stick to it because so far it's like been as the longest that I've gone um, out of my past attempts Yay. so very proud of myself and I hope that I can maintain this lifestyle because like oh. I definitely feel like a lot better now like my health feels a lot better now yeah. that I've switched over yeah. yeah I guess also going off of that I feel like it's important to have empathy for yourself mm -hmm. also like sometimes there's just I don't know sometimes you're super super hungry you didn't bring a snack and if you die because of low blood sugar, that would be terrible. Yeah. And then no one will live out all of your dreams and expectations for yourself because you won't be here anymore, right? So I don't know, sometimes, and like, you know, like, yeah, like you were saying, like if you're at like a special, wait, I don't know if you said this, but you told me earlier with the beef. Oh right? yeah. So like, I don't know if there's like a really special occasion for something like. Oh wait, should we give context? Yeah. So um, for Father's Day, my um, brothers and I got my dad Wagyu beef which is like this fancy Japanese beef that's like $150 per pound. Um, but yeah, so we got him that, but um, since my brother's vegan and I'm vegetarian, like it was just my dad eating it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was thinking to myself, I was like, when am I ever gonna have the opportunity to like try such a like delicacy? Cause it really right. is a delicacy. Like people like travel to Japan just to eat this. Yeah, yeah. So like, I ate some yeah. and I felt good about it because like honestly like I didn't really care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think it's uh it's okay to like make mistakes because it's like a learning process and like when you do like mess up like yeah. as for anything, like just like figure yourself and learn from it and then next time just don't do it again if you don't want to. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. One thing I find myself I one yeah, one thing I find myself telling myself is that like if I accidentally eat something that has eggs or dairy in it I'm not going to die you know like just because it's something that you've sworn off against doesn't mean that it's literal poison um in like an immediate sense yeah. you know like wait but yes. for some people who like like the bio microbiomes oh, sure. in your stomach like they've changed it and when you like eat something that you haven't right. eaten in like years then yeah. you can get really sick I feel like if I ate meat now even a little bit I feel like my body would just be really confused and unhappy but um I know for a fact that I've eaten something unintentionally that had dairy in it recently because I didn't check the label <laughs> and it happened and it was okay and it's like I don't know on one hand it's like oh now I'm no longer vegan and it's broken and like meh 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 <laughs> But also like, I don't know, it's all about intentions, like practiced yeah. intentions, obviously, but yeah. Yeah. you don't need to be perfect. Perfection doesn't exist, yeah. my dudes. <laughs> so real talk. <laughs> Is there anything that you've learned, like mm. any big like takeaways over the past few years that um, from being vegan, like what have you learned? 
I feel like honestly like we were talking about before like empathy also personal empathy I think mm -hmm. is a really big one especially because I have a history of like seriously and legitimately beating myself up over eating certain foods um, the ability to like say like okay this is like what I want to like the parameters and like standards I guess that like I want to eat within and sometimes breaking those and being like okay that happened I'm gonna move on mm -hmm. like that's such a huge development from like a personal standpoint I honestly think that's my biggest takeaway so yeah. I think something that I learned is that people will always try to find some way to criticize you oh, for sure. <laughs> especially when like they see you like making those mistakes that like we talked about earlier yeah and like I just learned to not give a shit about what other people yeah. think you know yeah and just like do what I want because really like I know what's best for my happiness and why why are you saying these things to me like it's totally unnecessary you're just wasting your time really thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to watch my last two videos um we talked about friendship and relationships in the first one and what was the second one creation, creation yes. and um creating art and content in yes. the second one um so if you enjoyed those and this don't mm. forget to like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you next time